Good morning, English 10 student. It's Mr. Andrews here, and I'd like to go over what I'd like you to do and how I'd like you to do it today on April 14th. Welcome back. I hope you had a lovely Easter. And right now, we're kind of picking up our research project where we left off. So, all of you should have submitted your uh, project proposal. I got most of them. If you didn't do that, please get that in as soon as possible. And now we need to continue working on our research, okay? Uh, let's talk about the requirements. Let's talk about how to do it. And let's look at our assignment, okay? Wonderful. Let's get started. Okay, so now that you know what your topic is and you've really honed in on it, you need to start trying to find information about your topic for you to write your paper, okay? And right now I'm working on this video to help you do that. Okay, some basic reminders. Okay, at least two of your sources need to come from the Arrowhead databases, okay? So part of this video will be me showing you how to get into the databases and how to use them effectively from home. Uh, the other information can come from websites books articles you name it okay so you don't need too much help with that kind of stuff because it could be anything else all right next i'm going to talk to you guys about how to take notes where to do that there's an assignment in the modules or under assignments um it is the notes assignment it says research notes okay and we have a week to work on that Okay, so I'll show you how to do that and what to do. Okay, so let's get to it. First, let's get into the databases, okay? So I know you guys have all used these before, but you might not have used them from home. So let's do it. I got to go to the Arrowhead Schools website, arrowheadschools.org. And then you got to go to your resources. For you, you will be going to the student resources. I'll be going to staff because I am not a student. It won't work for me. Log into your portal. You guys all know how to do that. It's the same login inf information as your email and all that good stuff. Okay, so then find where it says online databases. So when I say you need to use the Arrowhead databases, this is what we're talking about. Okay, so we have so many different databases here. ABC Clio is a big one. Badgerlink is a big one. Uh, our local newspapers on here, um, Service Issues Researcher, Teen Health and Wellness, World of Library Science, Wall Street Journal. Really, there's so many. No matter what your topic is, you should be able to find something on here. And if you're struggling with that, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. It could be that you need to make your topic a little less specific and more broad, or at least for parts of your paper. And then you can really hone in on other parts later, but we got to find stuff in these databases. Okay, so let's just make sure we can log in. Let's show you how to do that. Click on one. Okay, I'm in the databases. Um, okay, this one seems to be working. I didn't log in at all. That's great. And remember, you can be searching. You can be exploring by these categories. Okay, so that's ABC Clio. Okay, let's try Badgerlink. Okay, um, you could browse by format, browse by subject. Um, you could do a super search. That's a very broad thing. So let's say I was researching walruses. Now, I don't know if anyone is researching walruses. I don't think so, but it's possible. And as you can see, I get all the information, okay? Now, remember when you're doing your research, it's going to be really important for you to get all of the citation information. Some of these will give it to you, but either way, you should be double checking it with the MLA guidelines. Okay, so that's how you do databases. I know you guys all know how to do searches, but I just wanted to remind you how to get there. And if you need any help with that, let me know. It appears as though I don't need to log in as long as I'm coming from my launch pad, which is great. That's one of the big purposes of having the launch pad. However, if you 
get stuck or they do ask you for a username and password at some point, Arrowhead1 as a username and Hawks as the password should work, okay? Uh, if you're having any trouble with that, please let me know. Okay, now let's look at the uh, assignment, okay? The research notes. All right, so research notes, as you can see, it's worth 25 points due one week from today. So April 21st, today's April 14th. Uh, that's any time next week, Tuesday, okay? Um, if you were working on your paper later and you need needed to do some more research, that's of course fine. However, by that time, you should have this document turned into me and you should have found at least five sources and two of them should be from the databases okay so let me kind of go through this with you real quick name you would type your name topic you would type your topic uh, here uh, where it says reference information MLA format I'd like you just to type out in MLA format right away just type figure out what the mla citation is um this is a really strong research strategy because that way you won't have to go back later when you're doing your work cited page or when you're writing your rough draft and you need to do in-text citations you will already have everything you need from your notes in mla format and then you just need to pull it from your notes okay so what a lot of people will do is maybe just wait until later to take the MLA information, but then what happens is they might lose where they found it, okay? Um, you know, if you're printing the article, if you're saving it, um, it's really important that you get the MLA form information first because if you lose it and can't find it, then... Uh, Every, all your notes are pretty much useless, okay? Um, remember, if you are in one of these and you... Oh, there we go. It asked me for password. That's cool. I had one. Hawks. Does it work? I think so. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So if you're clicking on something in the databases and... I'm just clicking on anything really. Remember, if you copy and paste this link, for some of the databases, that won't work for getting back. So what some people do is they just do this and they think, I will figure it out later. But clicking on this link may or may not open up to the page. Okay, this one did. Yes, that's good. And that makes my life easier, but sometimes it won't. It will say link broken. Um, finding the permalink helps avoid that problem, but here what I'd want to do first is kind of figure out all the information, who wrote it, uh, the date, all that good stuff, okay? So again, that's my strong advice is to do this right away. However, if you want to wait, I guess you're taking a risk. You just have to hope that it uh, you can find it later. Don't lose it, I guess is what I'm saying. And then as long as you get the MLA information before you hand in your notes next week, then you're good. Okay. Um, okay. Now here it says list five to 10 interesting and or important facts about your topic that you found in this source. Now it says, and not in any other, uh, it, that's kind of a guide for saying if there's some information that you keep finding every time you might not you don't need to take the same note um so it doesn't mean that it's only available in this source but you don't need to keep taking the exact same note over and over again okay so like new information to your project is what you're talking about here okay so when you guys filled in your project proposal you kind of talked about what you'd like to learn some questions you'd like to answer and as you know, you guys are going to be doing an outline or a graphic organizer, and you're going to have to be organizing this information. So my advice is to use this key points area to help keep track of what type of information your detailed notes are giving you. 
So for example, if I'm learning about walruses again, um, I could do the body of the walrus, okay? And then walrus tusks are made out of diamond. Okay, obviously that's not true. I just made that up. I didn't really do the research about walruses, but you will do your research, okay? So key points are talking about what category of information and how you might organize it later in your paper. This will help you look through your notes quickly. You can just scan through key points. And then here, detailed notes, I'm writing down information, okay? Now, because I'm going to be turning this into a paper, it's really important that you tell yourself if what you write is a quote, a paraphrase, or a summary. Okay, so now the difference between those is a quote is if I took something word for word from my information, I would put quotation marks around it, and that way I know that that's word for word. Okay, I'm quoting it. It's going to be important that you know that if it's a paraphrase, you would not have quotes around it, okay? So what I would do, and this is my strategy, I would at the end of each little fact, um, I'll give you another one to help model it better, walrus blubber helps keep the animal warm, and um, I don't know, I guess uh, walrus whiskers are made spelled whiskers wrong apparently thank you whiskers are made of um, fine hairs okay they're, they're small hairs or something okay so I'm gonna say that this was a paraphrase this was a paraphrase and this was a quote okay so this kind of lets me know if I wrote, if I took it word for word, because you need to know that when you're putting it into a paper. If you end up taking notes and your notes are word for word from the text, from your information, from your resource, but then you don't put quotes around it in your paper, that is plagiarizing, okay? So it's very important that you know where you found the information. If you're dealing with a type of information that has different page numbers. It's also a really smart strategy to say what page it was on. So I learned this on page 17 and 18. Okay. That will help with my in-text citations later. Okay. And then when I've come up with my five to 10 interesting or important facts, so far I have three from this source. Okay. You summarize it here. Okay. So this is information for you. Um, this source had great basic information about the body of walruses. This will help me write my paragraph about the physical nature of the walrus something like that it could be short it could be a sentence could be two could be three um giving that way i can look at this quickly and i can say to myself okay what information did i find in this source what can i use it for in my paper okay all right so remember that you need to have two sources from the databases it might be smart to Find those first. You could find those last. It really doesn't matter. But just remember it. Don't forget it. And it's possible that you will find a source that doesn't have five to ten interesting facts. That should be the average, though. If you find one source that has fewer, that's fine. But you can't have fewer on all of them. As you can see, there are way more than just five um, places to take notes here. Remember, you only need five. So the rest are optional. And this is my template, okay? If you have a different method that you'd like to use, uh, like maybe you want to write it in a notebook or on paper, that's totally fine, but I do need the same information gathered, okay? All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye.